and welcome back to my channel. My name is Primrose and I asked you guys what you wanted to see most over on Instagram and you guys said that you wanted to see another house update so that is what we're doing today. I've been here pretty much all week so I've booked off two weeks of annual leave and it's given me some really good time to actually work on the house. I've been super, super busy. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the progress that we've made so far. We're gonna do a little bit today, maybe some painting, which is really exciting because we're actually starting to put things back into the house rather than constantly taking things out, which makes such a difference, honestly. I'm sick of having to clear everything out and the dirty jobs. Now I want the nice clean stuff where I start to see my home come into play. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is finally show you guys my jungle of a garden. We've kind of got a, a straight-ish path and yeah, I think it's gonna be the most clear that it's gonna be for a while. So I'm gonna show you guys the state of it and how big it is, how messy it is. And yeah, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys from the conservatory. Obviously when we first got this property, this whole area was right up to the conservatory doors, completely filled with brambles and weeds and just, just, just evil things. So you come straight up the conservatory doors now that it's lovely and clean, thank you to my mum and my nan. Got the spare door here, which was actually where we blocked up the door just here. So we took it out of there. We might actually replace this door with this one if it fits. So that's why we're hanging on to that. And we've also got some curtains that were up that we've just threw outside so we don't have to deal with them right now. We've got a water butt and just some like really dead planters. It's in a bit of a sorry state. And then there's so much of like stuff that we've cleared. Like this is just a pile of all cut off brambles and I don't even know what that plant is that kind of looks like straw. We found some really nice planters. So they're like chess pieces. I think they're really cool. But unfortunately like this red one's broken at the bottom. I don't know if we can repair it. But this white one's intact. Um, but then the other white one is actually unfortunately broken as well. We've got our garage. We've got a little shed. So this is just full of like all sorts of different knickknacks and like wooden stuff i think it's not really good for for much of anything so it's probably going to come down at some point and then there's a little wooden plane on the top i really like this i want to like make it up and make it look like good again because apparently the person that lived here before made all of these and there was quite a few of them so that's what the posts are for but this is the only one that's left and i, I really like it we've got our burn bin so where we've been disposing of like all of the wood and the brambles obviously <laughs> This is the state of our garden right now. It's very full, especially of things that we don't want, like the brambles and the blackberry bushes, like, it's just so evil. Got some random, like, water feature butt thing in the, in the ground. <laughs> this was a really cute, like, wooden chair set with a little table, but it's just, it is not fit for anything, so it had to come away. And then if we walk, down the path that we've created. So we think, well, this is gonna be like, this was the original path, because you've got the edging stones on this side and then you've got the edging stones on this side. So this is one of the original paths. And then we think there's another path on the other side, but we're not too sure because we're not cleared that far yet. We had a table that was just abandoned. Oh, these thorns are just so horrible. And I'm only in gym leggings, so it's just evil. This is the temporary path that we created, but now we obviously have this main path here. And then again, just, oh, it's so high, like, this is so much taller than I am as a person. <laughs> and then we just walked down, there was like literal, like all the way up until the greenhouse door. So many blackberry bushes, just like this, just thick, dense and high blackberry bush. And then in the video, the first like part one of this series, this is actually the thing that we could see and this is the building so it was a greenhouse i think it's like something he's made himself because it's like glass spare glass panels um and it looks quite homemade so it's quite like <laughs> mishmashed and it you know what it's seen better days to be honest i think it's going to be something that we have to at some point take down we've got a greenhouse already so this is something that we'll put in its place but this is what it looks like inside so you've got the working bench and so many different pots on this right hand side and then on the left hand side there's like this wall around and I don't know what it would have been used for my mum maybe thinks maybe like a potting area um, but we're not too sure and then again on the inside just so much blackberry bush and spiky evil plants 
in the smallest walkway ever. And then there's just, again, so much, so much rubble. A little stool. It's just like a treasure trove. Literally, you don't know what you're gonna find every time you come here, it's great. My sister, she found these tools that were just abandoned. We've got different knickknacks, we've got pint glasses. Like literally, it's a shame, it's such a nice space up here. And this is part two of the garden. <laughs> so you see down where that fence is? Down there? That's the bottom of our garden. So that is where we're heading. Honestly, I'm trying to show you guys everything, but there's just so much stuff. Ah, caught my mic. <laughs> This is why I want to be careful because it's very unstable underfoot as well. Like you think you're standing on the ground, but it's not the ground. It's dead branches and brambles and this weird looking driftwood stuff. Like why is this here? And it's all oh, plant parts and then you go down, you've got edging stones. Honestly, you can see the kind of walkways we've tried to build and every time I come down, I've got to hang on to the tree for balance because it's just, very evil. And then, so something that we've recently discovered, if I take you to the left hand side, so down there, in amongst all this tree and blackberry bush, was actually a beehive. So I'm gonna zoom you in. I don't know if you can see that in there, but we've established it is actually a beehive. We've worked, so we put the plank down, worked all the way down. And I don't know if it's obviously functional in terms of collecting honey, but we think this end of the garden was actually used for planting areas because laid out plots. So it would make sense that you'd want to encourage bees. And I am super excited for that prospect because I've always wanted a beehive. I'm honestly, I'm such a green witch. I love it. I'm just, I'm so excited for the idea that we might have bees at some point. So I'm gonna try and salvage that as much as possible. If not, I'll just go to heck with it and buy an actual modern beehive. And then obviously we've got all of this, all of this lovely, lovely stuff that will spike you and hurt you. And then on this side, we've got the tree that saves my life every time I come down here. But I think this is actually on our neighbor's side. A lot of this is gonna come down eventually. Okay, wish me luck. We'll walk the most realistic plank. And then you've got to be careful when you come down here because there's these, and I think these are different like segregations, like they create like different planting areas. So they're just random bits of wood sticking up, but unfortunately this is the only path we've created so far to get down here, so. I think this frame would have been used to grow beans. Um, it's very typical, my parents said, of like that sort of thing. So this is definitely another reason why we think it's a planting area. You have to honestly be so careful of random things sticking out the ground or random bits of wood. I swear, I don't know how we're ever gonna get through all of this. <laughs> I really don't. What the heck? That is literally like a concrete block. What the heck? Oh yeah, so that tree is in the neighbor's garden. And it looks like they've thrown a lot of their tree over here, which is very, very nice of them. And we've got a <laughs> poor chair that has been taken over. Again, more edging stones. So I think the path is down that way because it's sort of where the edging stones run out, but it's really hard to tell. And then making our way to the very end, we have this giant conquer tree in our garden, which I am so hyped for. One, having a giant tree that's obviously been here for years. Massive bonus. Plus, oh god that scared me there. <laughs> oh. 
plus you could potentially have a swing chair from it plus it is a conker tree which is so exciting because they have the most beautiful leaves in autumn they have the most beautiful blossom in spring and you can kind of see it's coming it's coming it's a bit slow but it's coming so we need to chop quite a lot of all this extra branch away but I think down here is going to be a really nice space this is a space that I want to have as a proper like witchy space oh my god it feels so weird underfoot like the ground literally moves underneath you like it's quite soft so many like conkers that have been eaten by squirrels or something every time we come down here we have to touch the fence it's like a rite of passage to say that you have made it to the bottom of the garden <laughs> We did it guys, we did it. So yeah, this is one of the spaces I am most excited for. It's gonna be a really, really nice space. I'm gonna have my garden down here, like my planting garden. I'm gonna, have it. it's just a really nice witchy space and it's gonna be really zen. We're gonna have some nice seating down here, maybe some mosaic, that could be cute. But, and it's so quiet. It's so quiet, you can't hear anything. And it feels so far away from the house. I'll turn you around in a sec, but yeah, this is definitely going to be like gardening, planting area. And I can just tell we're going to be so happy here. Like, I'm already feeling like it's home. Like, I don't want to go back to our rental when it's time to go back. Even though there's nothing in the house, there is hardly anywhere to sit. <laughs> but I'm in love with it already. And I'm just so excited of what it's going to become. So, yeah, I'm super, super excited to be sharing this with you guys. I never thought, like, <laughs> I'd have a house. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna flip you around, we're gonna go back, and then I'm gonna show you the progress of the house, and then we're gonna actually get away some work today. It's so far away. That's our house. We're all the way down here. 